we're going to take a look at a deep dive into web development and web design because that's really important for digital marketing and growing your business online. What we want to do is we want to start with your website, right? So the first thing we want to look at is we want to make sure, obviously, the page is created for each one of your services. Cre create uh, cremation, funeral homes, embalming, caskets, funeral arrangements, plus whatever city you're in. So whether it's funeral arrangements, Calgary, Alberta, funeral arrangements, Houston, Texas, funeral arrangements, those pages have to be optimized specifically for that. And then independent pages have to be developed for each of the cities and the areas that you serve, including the 10 uh, pages included inside of your package. Now, proper on-page optimization, your title tags, H1 tags, unique content, everything along those lines, your website has to be optimized specifically for, specifically for your business. And we have to have strong conversion elements on your page in order to effectively generate leads. This is the starting point, the foundation of your website, right? Now, most funeral service websites actually include uh, anywhere between three to five pages. So they have funeral home services, about us, contact us, obituaries, etc. But they're missing the critical keyword elements needed for search engine performance. And they're not truly focused on architecture or developed to focus on the things that matter most. Um, what they do is they tend to pay attention to the things that don't generate leads. So when you were founded, uh, what you were founded by, um, those things, right? Obviously, these aren't important. If people are visiting your website, they're looking for a service, they're doing their research, they don't really care when you were founded at this point. And I want you to think about your own psychology in this particular instance. Um, look at when was the last time you went to a website specifically for the purposes of looking at the About Us page? This very rarely happens. Roughly 98% of the market wants to know how you're going to, basically what you're going to do for them, how fast you're going to be able to serve them, how much you're going to be able to serve them for, and what you're going to do in order to ensure that their needs are met, obviously, in their time of transition or if they're taking care of a family member inside of their time of transition. So we have to look a little further into some keywords specifically for funeral services themselves. So we have to look at your name plus cremation, your city plus the funeral homes that are there, your city plus embalming, right? All of these keywords are vital to the success of your website because we want to create a site or a pattern of sites that's designed specifically around the most commonly searched volume words inside of the funeral services market. So that may include cremation, funeral homes, embalming caskets, funeral arrangements, memorial services, funeral homes, hearses, coffins, funeral flowers, funeral flower arrangements, funeral costs, memorial, cremation urns, urns for ashes, and adding your city to the actual page itself. What Google is going to do is it's going to go in and it's going to actually index these keywords to ensure that you're, you're meeting the demands of that area. So it might be uh, cremation in Houston, for yeah. example, people look this up all the time. I know that this generates roughly, for most larger cities of a million more people, roughly about 27,000 to 37,000 searches per month. It would be excellent if we could convert even 3%, even if you could convert 1% of 27,000, that's an additional 2,700 phone calls directly into your business, specifically for the purposes of these services so that we can start growing your funeral home the right way. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add more pages to your site. So the typical funeral services website is about home services, about us, coupons, contact. Um, what needs to be done is we need to look at home services, about us, contact us, and service areas. So your services can be funeral services, cremation services, burial, grief counseling, green burial, tree programs, etc. inside of the pages itself. But we also need sub pages for funeral services, Houston. Now, if you're in a smaller city like myself from Medicine Hat, you might have smaller surrounding towns that end up actually looking these up. So it might be cremation Medicine Hat, it might be cremation Dunmore, that's 10 minutes outside of the city, it's a smaller town. It might be cremation um, Tabor, Brooks. Smaller services in smaller cities that are reaching out to the towns around them to let people know that they're gonna be served. But if you're in a larger city, there are larger suburbs, for example, that you're going to serve, right? So it might not just be Houston, for example. It might be, uh, you know, areas inside of Houston. It might be little city areas inside of Houston so that we can maximize the return on investment when it comes to the search engine optimization of your site and ensuring that we're hitting each and every one of those little neighborhoods to effectively grow your market and effectively grow your business. Now, a website that's built for conversions has a few pointers in it, and this is important that we have to, uh, something important that we have to focus on. We have to ensure that your phone number is immediately and readily available for contact. 
that your web forums where customers can request and receive quotes for your services. It has to have links to your social media profiles that are readily seen. What this does is it creates a psychological effect um, that allows us to, in a sense, uh, lend credibility to the site itself. It has to have a company name, address, phone number at the top of every single page so that it's quickly found. People can scroll up and find it without any troubles. Personality, real photos, real videos of your company and your people, the interior of your business. Now, if you wanted to talk to us about 360 degree videos, we can talk to you about some solutions that go into that. There needs to be a clear explanation as to why they should be choosing your company in the first place. There needs to be special offers, often incentives to drive those lead opt-ins. And then your site has to be mobile first indexing and mobile friendly. Again, the majority of website traffic, I don't care what industry you're in, what niche you're in, has to be mobile first indexed and mobile ready. Now, if we take a closer look at search engine optimization and winning with search engine optimization, for example, the first thing we have to do is we have to evaluate your on-page search engine optimization, right? So oftentimes what we'll do is we'll give you a rating. We've got a bunch of audit tools that allow us to go into your website and examine your business extremely closely and obviously offer the on-page optimization um, for your website to see exactly what's going on on those pages so that when we end up looking up um, who's ranking for what, you know, we look at funeral homes, maybe you're ranking 15th funeral service, you're ranking 17th cremation, 7th memorial services, you're not even in the top 30. And then we end up examining exactly, exactly, for example, um, the search volume that goes into that, the competition level that goes into that. Um, now, the number one ranking site, obviously, sometimes it's not always funeral services, but in most cases, it's going to be uh, Dignity Memorial that's going to end up ranking because they do focus heavily on their search engine optimization. And many of you are actually competing with a lot of their services. So we want to make sure that your website is actually ranking for that and examining exactly where the low-hanging fruit is inside of the market so that we can start growing your website correctly. And then what we want to do is we want to take those pages and we want to basically give it a name, ensure that the URL is essentially on-page optimized friendly, give it a page title that's designed specifically for the keyword that we're going for, Give it a meta description that includes all the keywords. The meta keyword is a keyword pool and the keyword evaluation is designed specifically for funeral services or cremation services, Houston uh, or LA or New York, whatever the case may be, Seattle, right? To end up growing your business effectively. Now the perfectly optimized page has a title and meta description um, that are designed specifically around exactly what you're trying to optimize for. So in this case, if I was to do a chocolate donut page, um, I would want to put chocolate donuts from Mary's Bakery. Learn in the three seconds to award winning chocolate donuts. Again, the description key, uh, hits the keyword. Get times and locations for availability and let me learn how to make your own donuts at home. What this page has is it's obviously uniquely available. It has phenomenal UX writing, which is the micro writing. It's bot accessible, right? Google, Bing, Yahoo, all of these search engines operate off of bots. So your bot has to be able to ac access that page. It's built to be shared, it's keyword targeted, it's multiple device ready, and your metadata is inclusive on the page itself. All of these things are super important to the vital success of growing your funeral services business. And then what we do when we end up writing those articles, for example, is we get a look at the website popularity model. So Google is basically a popularity contest. It's like the king and queen of prom, right? So whoever gets the most votes and whoever gets the most high quality votes is effectively the winner when it comes to Google. Now you can do a lot of things when it comes to getting what we call backlinks. Um, what we want to do is we can look into Facebook, Twitter, more, get you blogs, do press releases, social bookmarking, infographics, local directory listings, online reviews, all of these things contribute to your website's popularity. And the person with the most uh, popularity, the highest popularity contest, is always going to be the winner in this circumstance. So what happens is that we might go, for example, to the guest post, if we carry this over here, we might write an article for your funeral home, and then we'll go to a blogger with, within our network, within the funeral services network, and we'll say, hey blogger, out of a scale of zero to 100, you have a score of 84. Will you feature this article on your website and will you link back to us? And oftentimes they'll look at us and say, hey, yeah, absolutely. You guys, we've got a great wholesale relationship with you guys. You've been helping us out for years. This is where the discounts and having an agency like ours comes into play in a big way because what ultimately happens is that we're able to get you more cost effective um, services when it comes to getting backlinks through our pre-existing relationship network. And then we go to a blogger that has a domain authority of 45, or domain authority of 19, or domain authority of 67, or domain authority of 33, or 91. What ultimately ends up happening is we end up raising 
the domain authority inside of your business to an average of 57 and the person with the highest number of backlinks and the highest quality backlinks, those votes like the king and queen of prom, ends up winning the backlink model for that business. So what we need to do is we need to go out and we need to reach out to guest bloggers in order to actually generate those backlinks for those businesses and effectively stimulate a ranking growth inside of, inside of your business yourself. Now when we're looking at website popularity models, like I said, the website with the most and highest quality backlinks wins. This is the biggest focus as you can see so much so I put it into two slides. Hey there, thank you so much for watching my video. The next step is for you to go ahead and download our step-by-step -step cheat sheet for funeral services. The link can be located above or below so you can click and get started today. What it's going to do is it's going to give you a step-by-step -step guide to show you exactly where the low-hanging fruit is in the marketplace and show you what you have to do in order to grow your funeral services as well as your funeral home. If you want to go ahead, click the guide above or below, like I said, and we can get started showing you how to dominate the digital marketing landscape today.